Needed that. And we back. Yo, what up YouTube? I'm Slick Frank, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Slick Click, man. And for all the OGs out there who've been rocking with the click since day one, welcome back, man. I just wanna say thank y'all to everybody who've been so supportive. I really appreciate all the love I've been getting this whole time. I've been kind of taking a break from YouTube. We'll get into that later, but for now, I just wanna jump right into the episode. So I'm gonna roll up a blunt today, and I ran out of backwoods. Y'all know me. I usually only smoke backwoods when I'm gonna roll up a blunt. We don't do swishers, we don't do dutches. But I ran out last night, and I had my sister slide through and drop me off some because she was in town and yeah, she dropped these off for me. These are some loose leaf, strawberry dream flavored, all natural leaf wraps. And I can't lie, I was kind of pissed off when she dropped these off. I was like, man, I said, give me a bag with it. And she was like, it is a bag with it, it's the same thing. So yeah, I smoked one last night and I was actually pretty surprised by how good it smoked and you know, how, how well it rolled. Cause I've smoked a lot of like backwood alternatives and nothing's really ever came close when it came to flavor, when it came to feel and how you roll it. Like, but this right here, I think this is definitely something that's gonna rival with the backwoods. And this is not a sponsored video. Yeah, let's just jump right into it, man. So this is the Loose Leaf Strawberry Dream. Can't lie, it has like a slight strawberry smell to it, but it ain't overpowering. And this is what it looks like when you take it out the package. Yeah, it literally just comes pre-cut. Now, I was pretty juiced that these came with like no stems in any of them. This is like the third one that I'm rolling up and they all come pretty smooth. Like I know with the backwoods, sometimes you'll get stems like going diagonal or straight through it and it'd be a bitch to roll. And this is what we smoking on today. Check it out. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Sort of. Let me see if I can find that sweet spot. Okay, okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is some banana cream crossed with jealousy. And it's a sea junkie strain. Smokes really fucking nice. So yeah, I just got done working out at the gym. I made some lunch. I made some uh some fried rice with some mussels in it today. And that shit was fucking fire. It's my day y'all, so I figured man, why not just roll up, smoke with the click? Been a while, man. I haven't made a YouTube video in so long, I feel like I kinda forgot how to do it. <laughs> Ooh, but when you're breaking down this banana cream crossed with jealousy, like first thing you get is like that gelato kind of flavor. Cause jealousy is a cross, I think a gelato back cross with gelato or some shit. And like that flavor really just kind of pulls through. It's like a candy, sugary, you know, that gelato classic flavor. But behind it, it almost smells like banana and bubble gum. Like it's kind of crazy how weak it smells like this. It's definitely more one of those dessert kind of candy weeds right here. And don't get me wrong, I, I love the candy flavor weed, like the shit that tastes like sugar and hella sweet, but I kinda want some gas. Like I miss that OG and like those strains where it's like, whew, it just got that power. And not saying that this weed doesn't have power. I think this was testing at like 38% or some shit when they sent it into the lab. But yeah, it just, I don't know. I feel like those candy flavor weeds, the high you get from it is not the same as like those old school gassy strains like the chem dog and og kush and like that gorilla and for everybody watching this do me a favor make sure y'all hit that like button drop a comment down below be rocking with the click i know it's been a while since i posted a youtube video and i promise we go keep the content coming like i don't know i just been so busy working taking care of my daughter like kind of just focusing on myself i had to take a step back from youtube and like just put life into perspective i knew i could always come back to youtube and honestly at a point i wasn't sure if i ever was going to come back but creating content is something I love and like, and it's funny, I remember one of my uh, videos, I think it was the how to roll a swisher or how to roll a backward video. Everyone was complaining that, man, I only rolled up a gram in there. So yeah, today we about to roll a fatty. And I fuck with these wraps. I like how they come pre-cut and they don't come with guts. Cause at the end of the day, we're just gonna dump those guts anyway. And yeah, I like how you don't have to even worry about that. And so far I haven't got a bad one of these. Like, I haven't got a fucked up one that's too dry or with stems. And I know my backwood smokers know what I'm talking about. Like you buy a pack and they're like $10, $13, depending where you go now. Vallejo still sells them for five, but yeah, if you are spending like $10 on a pack and you having to toss two, three of them away just because they're all dry or fucking stemmy, that's it. Fucking sucks, it pissing me off for sure. Yeah, let's get it. And bam, let me show y'all the bars real quick. And if you roll backwards, you know you gotta always keep a pair of scissors on hand. And my little trick, I like to take the ends and 
and kind of twist them, kind of like you do with a joint. You'll see why in a second. Do it to the other side, pack that in. Take your scissors, cut that in, cut that in. Time to smoke, let's go. Where my fucking lighter at? <laughs> Loose leaf backwood, y'all getting some free promo today. Check it out, man. If y'all want a backwood alternative without all the guts, without the stemmy, dry leaves, maybe check these out. And loose leaf, if y'all watching this, hook your boy up. Make sure you roast your blunts, people. You know, I gotta keep reiterating that because still I see too many people like going straight to just puffing on it. Nah, you can't do that. You gotta roast it. Get that nice, even burn. Ideally, you would like to do it without the ceiling fan on. <laughs> Man, I ain't gonna lie, I grow some fucking gas. Okay, loose leaf, I see you. You know, one thing that I've always liked about backwoods, I feel like backwoods have always been that delicate flavor where it's not too overpowering, you know, in the smoke. Cause I know like the gravel leaves, the frontal leaves, shit like that. You can't tell me that when you roll up and smoke that, you don't taste so much tobacco. Like the leaf is just thicker and it makes the smoke just heavier, like way more tobacco flavor to it. But the backwood, I feel like it just complements the weed really nice. Like, yeah, you taste the weed and the tobacco, but the weed definitely is the star of the show. And with these loose leaves, like, I can't lie, this being a flavored one, I was a little worried, like, thinking that I would just taste a bunch of artificial strawberry terps, but nah, not with this one. It's like a very subtle strawberry flavor, like, not even strawberry, just like syrup or nothing, but like, just a, just like an aroma of it, you know? Woo, this shit is smoking. And yeah, that banana jealousy goes perfect with this little strawberry kind of aroma to it. Like, let me take one of these out real quick. The leaf has a very similar feel as far as like thickness and like pliability as like a backwood. And like I said, these don't come dry, so like still soft, ready to go. Backwood, you might not get so lucky. And all my wood smokers know when you go to the store and you buy it, you gotta do that little squeeze test. You gotta see how they are. If you feel like those stems or if you hear it cracking, Gotta tell Aki, gotta swap that out. First smoke of the day after the gym, after some lunch, this shit hitting right here. And as a stoner, oh, we gotta stay hydrated. Hey, you ever hit some weed so strong, like you can feel your fucking, your hands and your body shaking? Like, holy shit, I ain't gonna lie, this weed's hitting like that dab smoke. Like, you know what I'm saying? When it hits your chest cold. Do a little ass check, how's it smoking? Nice, clean, white ashes. Fuck with it. You know, I had a lot of people tell me that the white ash thing, good weed doesn't necessarily have white ash, but the best weed I ever smoke, whenever the weed is fire, like it always burns white. So I don't know, I had to disagree with that. I feel like the white ash thing definitely indicates that you got some clean smoke. It was flushed properly. But it doesn't necessarily mean your weed good because trash weed can burn white too. I can't think of any weed that I had that was smoking dark black ash or gray ash and was smoking like fire. Can't lie, I usually don't smoke in the house, but today's just one of them days. It's hot outside, it's windy, like it's just not pleasant outside right now. So smoking inside. Gotta light a candle, throw on the air purifier. I like the house smelling good. I just hate how that stale smoke smell kind of sits in after you've been smoking in there for a while. Like, cause we're stoners, we go nose blind to it, but if someone else come over, like my mom or something, I don't want her walking in here smelling like hella dank. You know, not all the fucking time. <laughs> Perfectly cut leaves for a perfect roll every time. I ain't gonna lie, this was a perfect roll. The last three that I smoked have been, so we got two more to smoke. They hit five for five. Shit, I might start smoking these over backwards. Still got love for my backwards. Like Mike Dre said, if it ain't a backwood, it ain't all that good. I remember the day I learned how to roll a backwood. I bought two of them back when they came in the little tubes. And the first one I threw through a swisher cutter and it just like fell into pieces. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Like, fuck backwood, what the hell is this? And then like, it was Saturday school and then one of the seniors, he was like, man, if you let me hit that, I'll roll your backwood. And I was like, all right, for sure, let me just see how you do it. And I seen him unwrap it and dump the guts out. And I'm just like, oh, it all fucking clicked. And the way they roll it, it's like, you roll it how you unroll it from one side to the other. Remember back in those days, smoking during Saturday school? I swear, we used to just get in trouble just to go to Saturday school. We just link up and smoke. Go in there hella high with hella munchies from the gas station. Or a fucking burrito from the taco truck. Thinking back to those days, man, my high school experience was crazy. 
I think that'd be a cool story time. What y'all think? Comment down below if y'all want to hear like my high school experience. We'll roll up a fat one just like this. Get lit, smoke. A little story time with Slick Frank. And we getting down to the doobie. Shit is still hitting. I'm gonna hit this one more time for the click, man. Thank you to everybody watching this, man. Appreciate y'all for burning one with the boy. I'm Slick Frank. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you're not already. To everybody out there who shows some love, I love you right back. Cheers. A fat ass doobie. I'm gonna say that for later. <laughs> All right, y'all, we out.